what you wanna know. All the gossip, shade, and rumors take it over your feed. I'll give it to you. Okay. It's time for Jay Blaze's trending topics on 101.9 Kiss FM. All right, baby, it's 101.9 Kiss FM, your new home of Harvey Hip Hop and RB. I'm Jay Blaze. I am Clark Joe. And this is trending topics. Mm-hmm. What we got today? All right, let's start off with Drake and the Raptors. We all know Drake is from Toronto, Canada, and he is the global ambassador of the Raptors. Now, they have recently started a new campaign called Welcome Toronto, and this will include six home games labeled as a brand experience focusing on art, community, and ball. Now, with this, Drake gets a brand new court in his honor. It will be black and gold with the OVO logo on it. Also, he will help them create new team uniforms, and that will also include the OVO logo on it. Now, the program itself pledges $1 million from OVO and the Raptors over the next three years to refurbish 12 local community basketball courts. And Drake also hopes that this will potentially help shape the next generation of Canadian basketball superstars adding $2 million going to the Canadian basketball over the next five years. So go ahead, Drake. Doing some big things. I think that OVO court would be cool as hell. Now, the first game would be January 26th on the OVO court and with the new OVO uniforms. He next, ain't doing uh, it like Big Baller brand. Don't do that. Big Baller brand, baby. <laughs> Everybody's going to be on Big Baller brand. Stop that. Have we heard anything else about the big baller brand? They say you sent me the, the tweet that said LaMelo <laughs> and LiAngelo, they balling out in Lithuania. Yeah. They're doing well. I did send you that, and they yeah. have been doing pretty good. Doing I've only good. seen one highlight thing, but. That's the only one. <laughs> That's why. That you know? seemed like it was good to me. <laughs> yeah, that was it. That's the only highlight we've heard of. We ain't heard nothing else about LiAngelo or LaFandulo. And the big baller brand. <sighs> but salute to him. Salute to, yes. I salute, salute him as a black man for starting his own company. Yes. Yes. All right. What else we got? Next off, Offset has been recently labeled as homophobic after <laughs> lyrics of his new song with YF and Lucci, Boss Life, has raised a few eyebrows. Now, the lyric is, I cannot vibe with queers. He know what he meant. <laughs> Offset quickly addressed this issue via Instagram, posting a picture of the definition of queer and giving his reasoning for using that specific word. He said, I have said before since these issues, Lord Jesus, now you know people don't know how to type. Let me figure this out. Mm. (laughs) My passion for gay, I mean, my passion for fashion has led me to gay people around me who I have mad respect for and they are very cool. I'm not in a place where I'm hating like that. I wrote this thinking of words that could rhyme with others like here lear bear um i saw this definition Dear. about her having a queer feeling and she was being watched and it fit what i was thinking about having uh. stalker creepy paparazzi situation uh. to me that queer i don't mean someone who is gay i mean lame people who film you post it stalk you lingo that means strange or odd i'm sorry i apologize this is why i say you become a prisoner of your own success now who said this offset offset Six years ago, Offset was like, yeah, I meant gay people. (laughs) But now he's experienced a whole lot of success. And people are like, hey, look, you don't want to pee off these people because they won't like you. So now he's become a prisoner of success. And if he say something that he truly may feel or think, Mm -hmm. rather it's taken out of context or he meant it out of context, now you got to apologize. Live your truth. If you meant queer like I meant gay, lame, weird, all of y'all, I think six years ago he would have said it. But he's, he's a prisoner of his own success right now, so. You would but what if he really did mean just strange or odd? I don't believe it. You don't believe that? No. Mm-hmm. You think he was really talking about I think about he meant strange, odd, and gay people. That's what I feel he meant. But like back to what I said, he's a he's a prisoner of his own success. Mm-hmm. He, he's successful now, so you got to watch what you say. I do agree with that. So, you know, do your thing. And why are they overanalyzing some, some lyrics from the Amigos? That's Who what cares? people do. Stop it. There ain't nothing else to talk but about. But that made sense. <laughs> I was just trying to find a word to rhyme with, yeah, with, with Lear. It made sense. I got a beer and a deer, and the deer was queer. In the car, that did, I did steer. Man, nobody ain't thinking about the Migos. So they silly. should not be focusing on the lyrical content of the Migos. Mm-hmm. Just make sure that the beat is good, and the hook is good, and we're good. This is right. true. Next. Now, Cardi B has just signed up for her first movie role. According to TMZ, <laughs> <laughs> filming will begin in March, and... It must be a promising role because word is that she's turned down a lot of other events in March just to focus on this movie. So as of now, that's all we know, that she signed a deal. We don't know a name, a role she'll be playing, any of that. But 
she has signed up for her first movie role. Hmm. <laughs> what you gotta say? <laughs> oh, okay. And also, Cardi just became the first woman to have five top ten singles simultaneously on the hip hop and R and B charts in a single week ever with finesse, Bartier, Cardi, Bodak Yellow, No Limit, and Motorsport. Beyonce was the previous holder of this record with four Don't songs. Don't get Beyonce mad. <laughs> she shut down y'all whole world with an album. Go ahead, Cardi. I'm super happy with her. So those are your trending topics. Read about these stories at the website, 1019online.com. All right, let me run down this weather real quick. Because obviously this morning we all woke up in Eastern North Carolina to some what? Snow, Snow. baby! And we're tired of it. Mm-hmm. Mother Nature, Mother Nature, you need to get it together, but I think she is. Let me give you the forecast for the next seven days. Um, tomorrow, Friday, it's going to be 54, baby. Round of applause for that. Uh, Saturday, guess what? It's going up, baby. Saturday will be 58. Uh, Sunday, we're going to hit 61. Monday, we're going to hit 64. Uh, Tuesday, drop back down to 60. Wednesday, 55, 51, 57, 65. It looks like hopefully we've evened out to average out in the 50s. For the next week. So we can say goodbye to some of the snow and roll the windows down and enjoy what real North Carolina weather in January should be. It's 101.9 Kiss FM. 101.9 Kiss FM.